All right. This is Carl. Today is August nineteenth, twenty twenty-three, seven fifty-two in the evening. We just got back home about like ten minutes ago. We had another amazing, blessing, beautiful, fun day. Just three of us, me and my grandparents. We went to Changsha. Early morning, we left home at six thirty. We got there at seven thirty. We went to a noodle restaurant, a very popular noodle restaurant in Changsha, named Gongjiao Xinchun, which is the name of the restaurant, the noodle restaurant. And there was a huge line. There was a long line. After we got there, yeah, luckily we didn't wait for long. But the noodle was not. That good, it was just very like average tasting. Does not really deserve, you know, like making the trip there specifically for this noodle. You know what I mean? But a lot of tourists would come from all over China and to just have some noodles here. I mean, I understand. People just come here for this. Popularity is a crowd behavior. Anyway, we enjoyed it. Let me actually move to the couch, so I can talk for longer. It was really another blessing day, and I have filmed a lot, but I have left my camera at the repairman shop and repair shop for getting my camera fixed. Um, yeah, just a one like one accessory on the screen got, you know, interchanged. Is that the right word? Like, he changed that accessory for me, which cost me two hundred bucks. It was not that much, but still a lot. Yeah, camera is my essential. I need it every day. I use it every day. Okay, I really have a lot to talk about. Again, I always got this like irresistible desire, and like you know, because I was thinking a lot. Although I was out with my grandparents, you know, walking around, checking out stuff, eating or talking, I was really just thinking and feeling. And experiencing things with my life, okay. And one of the things I have experienced a lot was how do I explain to my audience that, like, I have this sense of, like, I have this peace of mind,、um, even when I just spend so much time with my grandparents, like. You know, walking around, eating, touring museums or any kind of galleries, and not worry about not working, not being productive. At my age, a lot of young people spend the majority of time trying to make some money or getting promoted, and you know. Getting settled down with someone and get married and have kids, all that kind of stuff. How come I don't worry about that? Cause I have really learned so much from others, and I also read so much books and listened to so many podcasts, and I learned that I should always follow my heart. How do I actually explain following my heart? Like, after I have collected all the data bits in my life, all right, including my preferences, my work view, my you know relationship with my family, my everything. Okay, it's really hard to summarize, but you get what I'm saying. 
like you have to put everything together and make the decision and this is the decision I got I want to spend as much time as I can with my family especially my grandparents yeah this is really the best choice for me I can't encourage anybody to do the same thing okay because everything is different for me and you you know what I mean you might have an even deeper relationship and a stronger emotion bond with your family but you have other you know responsibility you probably have kids to raise or you probably just do not have this financial support from other family like my mom supports me financially and so I can just you know spend all the time with my family and not working and supporting myself they support me financially fully so you know what I'm saying like you have to analyze it yourself and make the right decision for yourself yeah <sighs> So I really want to like encourage people to make the own decision, like make your own decision, make your own choices in life, especially on big matters. Yeah. It's very difficult nowadays because everybody is trying to give advice. I was listening to Andrew Huberman and Lex actually Rick Rubin uh their interview talks and I enjoyed it so much. I have actually listened to it, not fully, not completely, probably like two times already. But this day I have listened to probably 30% of the conversation. It was like two hours and 50 minutes long. And I really enjoyed it. Something I learned from this conversation was you don't really take advice from anyone because people just got dramatically different viewpoints and you just can't you know give this you know this opportunity to someone else it's you just can't you can't do it people can't do it for you your decision has to be made by you you only understand yourself you only got the most data points about your life on the things that important to you you know what i mean and okay my grandpa just finished shower okay he already took off his earpiece so he can't really hear that's why his voice his voice naturally just got really louder okay okay so anyway I definitely can imagine so many critics in my head like saying I should work I should get a job I should you know figure out how do you make a living and support myself financially all that stuff because friends and other family members had taught me things like that but they just don't see how how I see my life okay they can't make the right choice for me they can't you know give me any advice <laughs> but it's very difficult it's very difficult to make one's own decision you have to get to know yourself really really well and this is a really difficult process you have to pay so much attention to yourself to your inner world and you will a hundred percent like you know make some mistakes along the way when we are young we are gonna like just bump around like just make so many mistakes and those mistakes will teach us about ourselves like 
my friends invited me to a party. I didn't feel like going, but I went, and I stayed up really late. I drank, and I drank. I mean, I got really drunk, and the next day, or even three days later, I was still feeling the effects from alcohol, and I regretted about it. I didn't like that feeling, and then I learned the next time, I would say no. I would tell my friend, "I'm going to bed early." I'm not partying. I'm not drinking. Even I go to the party. I don't drink alcohol because I know it would really affect me, and it doesn't worth it. Okay, but it takes so many mistakes. It takes many trials. Okay, it's not a one-time thing. But for a lot of people, they might not really ever learn it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people understand alcohol is bad. Drugs are bad. But they still do it. It's difficult. I understand. I just need to practice encouraging more people, like my audience, to understand everything serves a greater purpose. You have to just let the things pass, and then you can see it with, you know, a higher angle. You realize. That one particular thing you thought it was terrible, it was awful. You regret about it having it. You regret that happened, but you realize, yeah, you actually learned some really valuable lesson. It completely changed you. Okay, I got so much more to talk about, but now I think I'm gonna just take a shower first, and then I'm gonna record another video. I think, but I'm not sure. It's kind of late. It's seven. Ah, I forgot the time, but doesn't matter. I'm gonna go shower and then, yeah, I'll see. All right. So thank you for listening and watching. Later. Bye.